Do you have a ton of stuff clogging up your closet? Well, it's time to do something about it. Our next guest says you can unclutter your life in one week. And she's about to show us how. Out of our nation's capital, the former clutter queen turned organization expert, Erin Rooney. Go in! So this is Erin's brilliant book. We've all been thumbing through it in the office. There's things highlighted and pages marked and X's made everywhere. It's absolutely fabulous. Congratulations. Thank you. Incidentally, you're also the editor-in-chief of unclutter.com, correct? That Which is. Which we'll link you guys to, and we'll put all these tips up on our website. So where are we going to get started, and what's your number one first tip for taking the first step in decluttering? Okay, the, the, the first place you, you want to start, think of it like a workout, right? It's, it's Monday morning, and it's better to get started then than on Friday, because research actually shows if you wait until Friday, I'll do it on Monday, and you just put it off. So go ahead, start your week on Monday, first thing. Second of all, what you want to do is you want to start small. So in the book, I start with a closet, and surprisingly, we have one right here. <laughs> so let's start with something like clothes, right? Gotcha. Okay, so in, in this situation, what we've done is we started by grouping, or what we like to call clustering items. And we've used formal, work, and casual. Go with what works best for you. Here, these little closet dividers, you can just write on them. And the idea is that you want to be able to quickly retrieve when you go to your closet. Gotcha. The second thing, use hangers that actually are, are good for your clothes. They're not gonna warp your clothes in any way. And these are fantastic. They have a little bit of flocking on them. So things like wrap shirts, strappy shirts, they're not gonna fall to the floor. And I have those, I switched over. It changes your life. Another thing to do is think about the space on the back of your door. Here we've got hooks, especially for those things that you've worn that you might throw over the back of a chair. Don't throw it over the back of the chair. Definitely don't put it on the floor. Utilize the space with a little bit of hooks. And then these, it's just a metal magnetic strip. And what you can do are things like safety pens, uh, because you always need them when you're in the closet. Buttons, sewing kit, so brilliant. College I things. love that. Exactly. Great tip. Oh, over we're going to move down into the shoe area. Yeah, in the shoe. Actually, we're going to talk about socks. Think about when you are at that point in your life where you're spending all your time doing laundry and nobody likes to do laundry anyway. Another idea is to buy all of the exact same sock. And in this situation, you're never matching. You're you just don't putting have, in. Oh, and you're that there. brilliant. So, when they high five on that one. And then when they start to wear out and, and they get whole or whatever, get rid of all of them at once, bring in a whole new batch of socks, and we call it the sock purge. Because because really that's what you're doing. You're just getting rid of the socks that you're not wearing and you're not wasting time organizing. I love it. Yeah. Bring it. Fantastic tips. All those tips are gonna be up on our website. Reminding everybody that's the book on clutter your life in a week. Up next, I'm in the kitchen. Here's the tip. Don't miss that. It's delicious.